flying cars are no longer scenes from sci-fi movies. The dream is becoming a reality. I'm Hu Xin from Vision News. Today, December 21st, Chang'an and Yihang debut their flying cars, opening up possibilities for future three-dimensional travel. Let's step into the launch event and take a look. And as you can see uh, from, from this side, you can see three uh, unmanned aircraft here. They are respecting the EH-216S uh, standard version for passenger carrying. And this one is for high-rise building firefighting, which can like uh, rise to a height of 200 meters and extinguish the fire on a tall building. And the last one is a logistic unmanned aircraft, which is used to carry up to 250 uh, kilograms of cargoes. We believe that in terms of the low altitude economy, that the passenger transportation is the greatest uh, market because we do not want to create uh, some toys for, for some wealthy people. We want to create a transportation tool for, for uh, everyone. As you can see from this aircraft, uh, it's like a, it's an Evitor aircraft. It's like an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, without a pilot on board. That means that it is uh, a man pilotless. So that even a teenager at the age of like over a little over 10 years old or a senior citizen at the age of uh, 60 or 70, they can go on board this aircraft and enjoy, enjoy the, the flying experience without learning all the flying skills and acquiring the flight certificates. 现在长安给我的感觉更震撼 The Chang'an flying car amazes me. It is very diversified. It is used for firefighting, logistics, and transportation. It is also used for daily commuting. I believe, especially in Chongqing, this 3D magical city, there is a particular need for diversified transportation. I think these flying cars have great development prospects in the future. Moreover, our drones and unmanned aerial vehicles can likely integrate dining entertainment and vehicles together, further expanding their usage boundaries. For example, my car when camping, there may be scenarios that cars cannot reach. Then, our flying vehicles could further expand these boundaries, whether it is high-altitude retrieval, capturing some items, or transporting items to extreme environments, this approach may better meet users' needs. I believe that in the past few years, the low-altitude economy has already demonstrated some of its application value. For example, during earthquakes or other natural disasters, the use of unmanned aerial vehicles has brought great convenience to rescue operations. With the continuous advancement of technology, I believe the future will have a broader development space, especially now more and more manufacturers and brands are joining. I believe this will further expand the market size. Related technologies will also become mature. I personally believe that the low-altitude economy has broad prospects.